54? Yeah. You want a bag? No, we're gonna eat in here, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Portillo's famous Chicago street food just opened up in Orlando next to the world's largest White Castle, becoming the most sought out parking lot in all of Florida. Just look at the hustle and bustle. It's straight up pandemonium. So many people willing to wait in absurdly long lines to consume a dangerously high sodium diet. They are famous for their Chicago style dogs, Italian beef sandwiches, chopped salad, cheese fries, homemade chocolate cake, and a chocolate cake shake. What? They have salads? So prepare your appetite, grab a salad, and then give that salad to somebody. So if this is going to be our one and only time ever going to Portillo's, we might as well order everything. So I uh, did some research online and they're famous for their homemade chocolate cake. It's like rock and roll in here. It's like Aerosmith meets Uncle Sam. Does this thing work? Nope. It doesn't work. It's showing in slow-mo. I'm just gonna steal this B-roll. Look at those fries. Oh, look at that slow motion salt. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, awesome. <laughs> we got the salad. And uh, here, I'll give that. So there you go. This is just gonna be good. Can it be bad? They have ketchup here too, by the way. You can't eat a hot dog without ketchup. It says a Chicagoan never. <laughs> okay, soup. Let's try this. That's get chili. This is chili? Yeah. Ooh, is there like a layer of cheese on top? There is. Is it an Italian beef chili? Wait, you forgot about the bread. Dip the bread. It just lacks the Wendy's burger meat that's left over. What do you think? You're not a big chili fan? I like it. It's a little loose, like your mother. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding. Oh, Mimi, I love you. My mom. Is this chicken noodle? Wow, this looks heartwarming. This is a Campbell. No, it's not, but it is Progresso. What I'm about to do, I'm very against, but for the sake of the video, now you gotta eat it with a fork and fast. So, ways to order, you got dry, very little gravy, extra gravy, regular or big beef, or dipped, and pause. Little fun fact. Portillo style is recommended, but did you know that they actually give you different meat? They take it from the bottom where it's more shredded, more delicious, more glorious. And I learned this from a, a huge, huge fan of Portillo's in the line. Thank you, kind sir. Julia, you're here for the beef? I got some beef with you. Yeah, this is a chicken sandwich. It's grilled chicken and then mayo on the bottom. I probably would never order a grilled chicken sandwich at a restaurant. I just want to try the grilled ch chicken here. What is it called? Chicken. I mean, you know, cafeteria style, not bad. This one is the regular crispy chicken sandwich. The breading on that reminds me of not chicken, just like a little sus. This one's for you, Jessica Simpson. I'm the only one that ordered this today. No one's going to Bortolo's for a chicken sandwich. This is the spicy one. This looks okay. Does it taste okay? Questionable. Yeah, but look at the texture on that. That is definitely the best. Very peppery. You can see the little pepper notes. I can also see your eyeballs bulging out of your head. It's not bad. It's just so average that you're so forgettable. So they dip <laughs> all of the bread into the au jus, but you can also order the au jus extra just in case it's not dipped enough. And pause. Yes, get it dipped. Delicious. But did you know, do not get dipped to go for obvious reasons. Is it oversaturated after half an hour? Absolutely. It's so soggy, it's but in a good way. The dip, I'll go for the dip. Oh my God. What did you order here, JP? The flaps of the baby maker mixed with the man's machine. <laughs> Don't say that, because I want to eat this, and that makes it weird. All right, go for it. This is a sausage. Oh, Italian sausage extra gravy. Where's the gravy at? The it's, it's totally absorbed into the bread. Here is another sandwich, and they fill it in a croissant bun. Yeah. How cool is that? And they just make a little hole, and they stick the meat in there. I like eggs and bacon with my croissant. Did you get any of the croissant in that bite? Because not, not really. Okay, so this is the dry because you can order your sandwiches in wetness. What's in this bowl? Meat and vegetables. It's the whole thing minus the bread. The one that's 100% dip looks the tastiest because it has that au jus on it. It looks soaking. Like probably if I squeeze it, it'll drip. Let's see. Oh my God. A little bit. 
but that's good. Like if you did the double meat with this, it would have been really awesome. Here, I know how to fix that. Thank you. This is spicy, it's flavorful, it's greasy. This is not a place you want to bring a first date. You're gonna raw dog it. I'm gonna poke out just the tip, and then I'm gonna dip the tip, caught back on the whole carb. Oh yeah, mm, <laughs> it's delicious. My only problem is, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> this is the way to go. This isn't dry, it's like semi-wet. Mm. But a good one. Oh, no, what's it? Pinky, pinky. Gotta be fancy. Ah, yup, sodium. You got more food? This is the last thing. This is the cake shake where they actually blend cake in there. Oh my God. It is super thick. You can't drink it with a straw. <laughs> Like. I can. I've got really strong muscles. Okay, it's hard to do, <laughs> but I can do it. Whoa, that is freaking, that tastes like frosting. Whoa. Actually, I have a sugar high, like instantly. Okay, now this milkshake one. Also thick. Damn, that's good. Look at these little hot dog containers, first of all, branding. Oh no. It actually looks just like freaking McDonald's. Oh, it looks like the flail fish? Yeah, except it uses the whole cheese slice. That's the difference. Oh, look at the you can tell right there. away, right? It's like, the, it's like the same thing. But a little bit more girthy. A little bit more like real tasting. I don't want a flail fish to taste real. So how do you think this burger looks? Uh, pretty good for a place that doesn't specialize in burgers. They actually have fresh beef back there. Oh, they there. do? Yes, but the way that they cook it is actually on one of those like... It's on a conveyor? It's on a conveyor belt. Just like the way that they toast the bun. So you got mayonnaise, lettuce, okay. bacon. Really big patties, right? It's meaty, it's charry. Whatever conveyor they threw it through gave it that smoky flavor. It's a lot of meat. Oh, this is the vegetarian one. Damn, that looks like a die with squid ink. What's that bun? Honest, this bun smells delicious. It's like a tomato bun. Balsamic, onion, tomato, two portamello mushrooms. And then they got cheese and pesto wow. on there. Anyone that goes to Portillo's doesn't know that that exists. Oh my gosh. Put a beef patty on there with it. Oh. And then they can be messing with Shake Shack on their portobello game. Shake Shack's way better. Okay, I think this is the Polish dog. So it's got Ooh. mustard, caramelized onions, and it's yeah. in with a poppy seed bun, which is a total Chicago thing. This is a big sausage. They give you a good amount of sausage for your bite. Thank you, Portillo's. They're good. Onions are pretty They're good. pretty good sausage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the Chicago style dog. Yes, this hot dog has snap. Good snap. This is the chili cheese dog. It looks like they put the cheese sauce from like the same cheese fries from the fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh one more okay. Mindy, Mandy, Sandy. Stacy. Stacy. This lemon cake. Ooh, it's so so good. It's so tart. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna need a pillow after eating Portillo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>